Got some Jeep goodies today. Got the body lift 1.25, two inch suspension lift, just some spacers, spacers. And then uh, front brake pads. My front brakes were a little low, so let me play those. Good old trusty 4.0 engine. And then I got a couple of these vents that I want to throw on. I haven't decided whether I want to do it yet or not. So here we go. Well, I didn't think these vents would look good, but about an hour worth of work. I had a cut from the underside. Got my metal jigsaw cutter and it comes with 3M tape. And I also used glue to stick them on real, real good. But yeah, I think they look pretty cool. Hello and welcome to another update of Abominable. So today we found that it was sputtering and sputtering and uh, hoping it was just a fuel filter, but for the 2006 TJ LJ, the fuel filter is a full assembly within the tank. So I removed the tank. I needed to make sure that it was this one because if you have a 2006 Wrangler LJ, that's the fuel pump style that you're gonna need. So uh, it was pretty simple to get it down. It's the, the hardest part to do is disconnect this line from, I don't know if you can see it, hold on. Uh, aha, there it is, from that hose. That was a royal pain in the ass. So, what's going on guys? Today we are replacing steering and links. The yucky, greasy little things, we got some new ones over here. So we're gonna replace that one. We're gonna replace that one. We're gonna replace that one. And there's a fourth. I think it's this one, yeah. I'm not too sure. I got four of them, I'll find them. But that's what we're replacing today. And then as far as the fuel pump goes, on so this last update that I had, uh, I put the new fuel pump in. It worked for about 20, 30 miles and then it started sputtering again. So I'm still trying to figure out what the problem is with that. But uh, I'll move on to, um, I'll move on to, fuel injectors and fuel rail, um, you know, air cleaner, all that stuff. So we'll get it, but it's just gonna take some time, a little diagnosing, we'll get it. All right, stay tuned. All right, all the end links are in. <laughs> Got that one in, looks up, I had to replace the actual steering stabilizer shock as well, cause it was a disaster. The only one that I couldn't get to is this one right here because it's in the entire arm that would have to get replaced and the ball joint was still pretty good. So I got that one right there. Um, that, let's see, where's that other one right there? And this one right here. So all in all, it wasn't too bad. About three hours worth of work just to make sure that it's torqued down correctly and stuff. I'm headed over to the alignment shop to go get it aligned and not bad. See you later. Well, as soon as I took off the tire, I saw that my shocks were blown and the sway bar end links are shot. So I had to go buy some of those. Go ahead and fix those as well. Finally got it all done. I had to move the fan shroud for the radiator. I put in the two inch lift puck in the front there. New shocks, new brakes, new sway bar end links. I'll give it a little paint just to make it look okay. I put these guys on the top. That was uh, a menace, but it looks good. Then tried to fix my AC, put that um, resistor under the glove box, but that wasn't it. So we'll continue to look at what the problem can be for the AC. I got the rear shocks in. I'm still waiting on the rear one inch lift. The body kit or the body lift, it doesn't look bad. It's just a tiny little lift. And then 
I chose street tires because this one's a mall crawler. Say what you will. Here we are again. So since my fuel pump didn't fix the sputtering problem, I'm replacing these six uh, fuel injectors, but this one's really dirty. So I'm assuming that's the culprit, but if that doesn't fix it, then I have to clean out the fuel line and I don't want to do that, but that's the last thing. Hopefully that'll be taken care of and it'll make it work. Let's go. Hey guys, thanks for following along. So the sputtering issue on my Jeep turned out to be that sensor, crankshaft position sensor, uh, $22 piece. It goes on the transmission. For those of you guys that are having the same issue, it is a 10 millimeter bolt that it, uh, I don't know, it's right on the up, on top of it that swaps out. But it literally fixed the problem. Now my transmission shifts great and I can go up to 70, you know, 80. Not an issue before I couldn't go past 50. But if you guys are looking for it, um, it's gonna be on the passenger side. Get back up here, passenger side. And if you're looking right there, so I have a one and one and a quarter inch lift here, so you won't have this spacing, but it's right there, right there. Good luck, you guys. I'm glad I finally figured it out. Now we're gonna do some upgrades on the inside. Hey guys, can you guys guess what's coming? I already removed it. I prepped the area. FedEx should be here in a little bit to drop it off. Pretty excited. Out with the old. In with the new picks to come. Ready for the reveal? Look at it. You can't tell me that doesn't look cool. Damn, it looks good. Well, of course, I need to buy it a winch to complete the package. And probably another bar light for this, for these two little top tabs there, but it looks pretty dang good. Damn. Hey guys, well, unfortunately my Jeep was hit yesterday. My daughter was driving it. Um, she was only driving for about two weeks while her, her car got repaired. Um, she did get hit right here in the side where the tire is and where the bumper is. And it pushed all this over, or this way, it pushed it all over to where it bent the frame. Um, you know, I've been working on this Jeep as you guys can see in the TikTok for quite a while. Got it finally running and everything. Um, but it is what it is. Nobody was injured. Everybody was fine. Uh, maybe just a, a wrist that was sore. But, you know, as I, as you guys can see here, it did open up. Um, yeah, we go. It did open up the, the gap. The frame is bent. I got a power steering fluid that went everywhere. The fan shroud broke. The uh, transmission cooler line broke down at the bottom. Luckily, she was able to stop it and turn it off and nothing, no damage was caused to the engine. We do have the steering shaft here or the, whatever this thing is called, both ways. That right there is busted. All the bolt joints are going to have to get replaced. The, uh, the arms in the back, I don't know, what are they called? Radius arms are going to have to get replaced. The bushings and all that good stuff. But... It is what it is. You know, this was my wife's dream car. Now I got to get it back to being her dream car. If you guys know anybody. What's up, you guys? Uh, I just want to thank you for watching the video. It We bought the Jeep early in 2023. We were able to get it fixed. We were able to get it running. Um, we had it for about six months, six, seven months. And as you guys can see, it was hit. Uh, my daughter was driving it. Everybody's good. Um, there's some broken pieces. I was able to uh, source an, an entirely entirely new front axle off of TJ with all the metal pieces that had been bent. That's where we're at. It's not a very expensive fix. It's just uh, finding the time to actually do the work. I do work, uh, uh, you know, I do work uh, a lot. So, and uh, I really love to do mechanical stuff. So 
Uh, my wife helped me out with this Jeep. My daughter, uh, she helped me out with the Jeep. My son just loves the back seat of that Jeep. I'm really wanting to get it back, you know, to being her Jeep. Uh, but until we get it, uh, get that frame fixed and um, get that uh, the lines, transmission line, the radiator coolant bottle, the power steering uh, reservoir, those things have to get fixed. Transmission line has still has to get fixed. They will not uh, fix my frame until the Jeep itself is running. So I thought that was strange. I was like, can I just put it on y'all's rack and you guys just straighten the, the frame so I can get everything. And they're like, no, it has to be on its own power. But that's here locally where I'm at. So it is what it is. I'm sure that's other people have other opinions. But if you guys know anybody that has some spare parts for this Jeep, just let me know, uh, comment down below. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you're new uh, subscribe this is a new channel and I'm hoping to just get some more content out there with the ATVs and the side-by-sides and whatever off-road vehicles uh, we may have I appreciate you guys being here hit that like button and uh, thank you for watching